Hi everybody, this is Robin and I am here to share with you a smaller journal. It's um, eight pages folded uh, and I am using Linda Israel's Artful Digital Kit created by Cal Collage. I absolutely love it. It's got a lot of pinks in it, which is my favorite color. Um, I really enjoyed using a lot of Linda's uh, self-created stencils and I'll kind of point them out to you and I'll put the uh, links to the, uh, in, the uh, in the description box so that you could access them if you like what you see. Um, I used uh, Beeline Design Stamps, Tattered Angel, Angel's Glimmer Mist. And uh, so here we go. So first off, uh, this tassel that you see uh, was given to me in a wishing well that we have in the Friendly Junk Journal People group, um, which I'll put a link down below in the description box. And every other month we have the wishing well. And I had wished for shabby chic stuff. And I believe Michelle Downs, I believe that's who gave this to me as part of my, as part of my wish. And look, Michelle, it looks how great it looks. Um, on the side, I, uh, I did, uh, I covered up the, uh, binding and I colored it with Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. So... Uh, and that's what I like about it. I always get white everything so that I can color it to max, to match. Oh, I can't talk today. To match my uh, journals. And then the ribbon, of course, uh, just a tie to keep it closed together. Now, my journals are fluffy. They're bulky. And that's the way I enjoy doing them. So if you don't like doing that, you do it your way. But the main thing about this is I wanted to show you the kit and how you could possibly create a journal from it. It's approximately eight and a half by five and a quarter inches, uh, eight folded pages, and uh, let's get to it. Um, on the cover, uh, I took a piece of lace and just distressed inked. Uh, the edges of it because I wanted to leave a little bit of the white and then um, on the inside as you can see um, oh lost my tag my tag came out um, I also used um, another thing is I used uh, Linda Israel's artful digital add-on journal pages so you'll see a lot of those in here as well I, I did a lot of uh, tuck some things with those pages so this is the first the inside, inside cover has just like a little tuck with a journal tag and everyone that knows me knows that I do not appreciate I'm not a fan I should say of lime green or neon green but um, this kit has it in there, and I felt it was appropriate, and it needed to be brought out on some of the pages. So you'll see a lot of that, too. Um, so I created this tag. Oop, I created this tag using one of the add-on journal pages. Um, I took a Martha Stewart hand punch and punched. You'll see it on some of the tags. And on every other page where there's just a white page, I uh, I did the hand stamping, or the hand stamp to create the edge. I like it. I thought it was pretty. Uh, but you can see a lot of the neon green in this. Um, I took the words that were in the kit and some digital uh, pieces and made a journal card. And I made a little tuck spot right there. Oh, um, and on this page right here, 
Um, this has got the funky spiral stencil and I took Distress Ink and I did it in the neon green and blues and it kind of blended together. I thought it turned out pretty cool for neon green. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. Um, on this page I have used the more little daisies I believe and I used the funky little boxes stencil and I uh, did it not direct to paper basically I just distressed inked and used an oval brush to create this page um, created a tag and then I took cardstock a piece of cardstock and did a tuck pocket for this and this stamp right here uh, I used pink Distress ink, um, and I used well, what's this called? Oh goodness gracious! Oh yes, it's the beach rose. It's a small beach rose, a rubber stamp uh, by Beeline Designs. It's also available in Linda Israel's shop. Um, in the kit, uh, they had this and. I made a belly band out of it, and I made two tags with cardstock that I had, different colored cardstock, and embellished it. I, th I thought they turned out cute. And then, let's see. And over here you can see a giant tuck spot with a giant journal card. And I just put the words on there with an embellishment, pearl embellishments, flat back pearls. And over here, die cut a flower, um, the beach rose stamp. And I had these little butterflies uh, that you can see here. They, um, I forget who created those. I'm not sure. But I, I, maybe they were gifted to me. I can't even remember. But I took some more cardstock pieces and stamped the edges for more writing space. Oh. And on this page right here, um, you'll see the little daisies. And I did it in pink distress and blue distress. And just, you know, used my oval brush and blended it around. I like doing that. And then you can see the page edges have the um, Martha Stewart hand punch. And over here, on my little belly band, and this stencil, oh goodness gracious, it is the tri Triangle Flowers. Triangle Flowers, I believe it is, uh, stencil. And I did that in blue and pink distress inks and created a belly band. And this is comes in the kit. Uh, when you love what you have, you have everything you need. I like that saying. Good choice. And this is some more of the graphics that are in the kit. It's just beautiful. Bright and cheery. I needed to do something bright and cheery. And uh, here's another belly band. Except it a wrong way and just embellished it with um, a phrase whoopsie and then over here I did uh, some more card you know chipboard cardstock and did the uh, beach rose stamp on the edges a little word phrase and some more um, die cuts and then over here, I'm going to slide this over, I did a flip out page. So you have writing space here, writing space here, and then you flip it out again, and you do, you have uh, writing space here. And then I took the beach rose stamp and just did a couple stamps on it. I liked it. I think it's cool. I've never done a flip out page like that. 
and I um, just adhered it with washi tape another little tuck spot and then over here you see um, this is the Robin's stencil that Linda created and I just used distressings from the colors within the um, digital journal kit to um, bring us out some more ah, getting to know my new webcam um, and put them on the edge and left a lot of writing space another little tag in a tuck spot in the center this is my center page a lot of writing space and on my binding strings I use those butterflies I think they're Prima. I think these are Prima butterflies, if I'm not mistaken. They're kind of like 3D. Ah, near you. And I like doing it. See, like I left a little uh, string coming out, so it's like the antenna. <laughs> I know how cute, right? And then again over here, I did some more tags more cardstock there's the robins another little pocket another journal card and then here's my flip out again on the other side so you got that and that so it's kind of hard to get in there so you can see it lots of writing space and then i did a die cut for some doilies and edge this page with a pink ribbon that I colored with Tattered Angels and another little, I, and I just tucked it in on the side there with a journaling card and here's another large pocket and this was a scrap left over that I created a card and I used it. You can see the little daisies. Or is that the more little daisies? I think they're more little daisies. And then the funky, funky little boxes. And I just created a journal card. And then I used lime green <laughs> for the beach rose up there to bring out some more of the green. And then open it up. And I did this tag, a bookmark, belly band, and then I created another, another uh, card. And then I don't know, I can't remember. This is like a, a stamp I've had. It was one of those clear stamps I think I got in a magazine or something like that. And then this is the Robin's stamp. From Linda Israel Beeline Designs and then the side pocket I think this is from the Robins uh, creative box so I had leftover so I just took a um, middle tab put a little flower a little foo-foos and then in here I created a big uh, big pocket and put some journaling tags in our journaling cards in um distressed it with orange this time to bring out the orange and um use the um i believe i used the add-on journal pages to create these cards and then last but not least um i took i got these birds as a gift I, uh, somebody gifted them to me. I'm not quite sure who did that, but they're so cute. And um, I took some teal cardstock that I had and stamped it with the uh, beach rose stamp out just a little bit of it. And created another big giant journal card. And then again, a belly band. Over here, and I put another little bird. Be positive in the belly band. So, yep, that is the back 
and flip it back over. That is my artful journal. I highly recommend this kit if you need something bright and beautiful and if you love pinks and and I tried to be creative this time. I didn't do any sewing because I didn't feel like getting out my sewing machine and that's okay because I don't always have to you don't always have to sew because not everybody has a sewing machine and um, so again I will put the links in the description box and thanks so much for watching.